I'm John Popper from National Jukebox in New York. I'd like to show you a moving model, an American moving model that was uh, turned up at the last Chicago show in November. Um, it was made around uh, the turn of the century by William T. Smith of Providence, Rhode Island. Um, he's, he was a famous model builder who made his models coin-operated and used tiny electric motors of the time and clock movements to, uh, to accomplish his uh, moving models. I'm going to put a nickel in a coin slot so that you can see the operation of it. Right now. I'm going to take the uh, mechanism out of the cabinet so that we can see the workings of, of the model. The model uses a clock mechanism, a movement, a, a very simple clock movement, wind-up type with a fan to time and operate the coin entry system, which is the back of the batteries. It uses two number six one and a half volt dry cell batteries to power the lights that are in the front of the train and inside the boiler, which makes it look like the boiler is lit. This three volts also runs a very small dynamo motor from the turn of the century called a little hustler that William T. Smith used to power this end of the model, which is basically the, uh, the train itself and some of the other operations. Um, the two men inside, one of them rings the bell, the other one is the conductor so you can see from this side, the conductor, by this cam mechanism here, which is made of wood, simply wood and nails, um, appears as though he's operating the train. Here's the, uh, the small 3-volt dynamo motor. I'll run it open so that you can see the operation of the, of the machine. You can read more about William T. Smith and the moving models that he built in Dick Bouchel's book called Arcade One, where he calls this the America's first indigenous amusement machine. I don't know whether that's true or not, but um, there's more information in this book.